Is something the matter, Shitzelt? Worry not. I shall handle these ruffians in short order. I do so miss our castle. Princess. I know. It's for the good of the kingdom. My civilians, my lady. If only I'd been born a man. Then I could rush headlong into battle with you. Hmm. That is quite enough. Then I shall ask you but one question. You dare stand in the way of Lady Mashirin's carriage? I do not answer to you. I see. Then there's but one explanation. You lot are from Leonis, are you not? In that case, may the Leonisians bear your enmity! A report from the border, sire. A brigade is under attack by bandits near the border of Horn. Bandits? Father, allow me! No, I will be the one to go. But why? Do you believe me incapable? Do not be so quick to seek glory. I couldn't care less about glory. Please provide a reason. In due time. You always say that, Father. But when? Soon enough. We need not discuss this further. You always say that fighting on the field is the only true way to train. Is that not so, Father? Precisely. Then... The Leonis line shall live on, even should we fall afoul of gods to defend it. Take those words to heart, and not else. Mont, begin preparations. Call together your swordsmen. Calum will march. Yes, father. Helena. Hold the castle in our absence. As you will, my king. I pray for your safe return. Kitone. Watch over Stark. Ensure he does nothing rash. As you wish. Why does father doubt me so? Never be more than the second born prince. This many monsters are roaming just beyond the castle walls. It's a prime opportunity to display the results of your training. The ancient ring! You do know how to wield it. Of course, Father. It can call forth visions, the spirits of heroes. Murmur, whisper, breath. Trance. I did it! Contain yourself. You are the Elder Prince of Leonis. Right. Let us press onward. Excellent work, Lord Mont. Your command in battle was admirable. I beg to differ. You shouldn't be so quick to make light of your abilities, my lord. Uh, but... 
Are you saying that you ought to be more sure of yourself? More sure of myself? No one doubts that you're growing stronger, other than you, that is. Your abilities are unrivaled. Unrivaled? Save that kind of talk for Stern. You may not look alike, but there's no mistaking your twins all the same. You're like two peas in a pod. Stern and I... two peas in a pod? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Have I ever been one for falsehoods or flattery? Well, no. But no one has ever said that he and I are alike. I've always wanted to be as strong as Stern, so that I can be of use to Father. And you will be, Lord Mont. I guarantee it. Why the delay? We make haste. Right. Well, let's keep going. Rain. I doubt even you would be able to read the stars in this weather, Ramon. Stars are neither for reading nor seeing, Your Majesty. Those who rely solely on their eyes will overlook what is a true import. Then how is it done? By closing your eyes? If it serves, yes. But if you listen closely, you can hear it. The whispering song of the stars. And what do the stars sing of? Blood and ruin. A song that will illuminate the world in radiant light at the end of it all. Blood and ruin? It must be the ever-growing menace the monsters damn us with. And a radiant light at the end of it all, you say? Oh, interesting. Could mean wealth, or maybe glory. Monsters are not the only beings capable of bringing about blood and ruin. Could it be that a great war is on the horizon? It may be just so, Your Majesty. A war with Fennis. Fennis is not alone in targeting our homeland. The great houses of Horn and Wazette also share our borders. That may be so, but we harbor no ill will toward Horn or Wazette. For the time being, should that balance be destroyed, what then would come to pass? Havoc would run through our humble nation. More monsters! Cut them down, Mont. <sighs> yes, Father! That carriage. Opportune timing. Your Majesty, they wear the armor of Horn. What is a carriage from Horn doing in Leona's territory? They must have crossed our border while being pursued by bandits. That is not out of the realm of possibility. It matters not. Let us seize this opportunity to win Horn's favor. So, the King of Leonis graces us with his presence. You fail to distinguish between friend and foe? Silence! I'll cut you all down at once. And who is this witch? Lilith, commander of Leonis's infantry. Caleb. Shutzelt, first sword of Solidus, Horn's royal guard. Oh, I've heard a thing or two about you. The reckless first sword, am I right? As have I about you, Blaze on the Battlefield. You certainly look the part. And if you don't watch your tongue when addressing his majesty, I'll be sure to burn you to nothing but ashes. Amusing, aren't we? Shall I befoul the fallen rain with your blood? Enough. 
But Lady Marcherie. Uh, did he say Marcherie? Well, if it isn't the Princess of Horn herself. She's the beautiful Steel Maiden? It seems this is Leona's territory. We apologize for the trouble caused. Pay it no mind. It is fortunate that Leonis and Horn are not on hostile terms. <clears throat> it would be our pleasure to have you as honored guests. You have my deepest gratitude. Mont, take care not to embarrass yourself in front of a proper lady. <laughs> I won't! Mont, where have I heard that name before? Now, to make these bandits regret setting foot in my kingdom. Enemy reinforcements! They don't seem like just any old bandits. It could be that a foreign power is pulling their strings. You might be right. Do you truly believe such a thing? What reason would we have to lie? If not Leonis, then could they be in the service of Wizet? It's possible. Horn and Wizet are at odds with one another after all. Choose your words wisely, Mont. Unless you have forgotten, Wizet and Leonis are on friendly terms. Forgive my carelessness. Right now, it doesn't matter from whence these thugs hail. The problem is their numbers. Any thoughts, King Elda? Meeting force with force is not the Leonis way. I take it you have a plan? Abandon the carriage. Retreat to the forest. You... you can't be serious. In this rain, Lady Mashiri will... Be just fine. We are in Leonis after all. Let us do as the lions do. Mont, guard Lady Marshall. Yes, Father. Mont. Mont. Oh, that's right. You're the Prince of Leonis. Yes. I've heard the Prince of Leonis is one of the finest swordsmen in the land, with a temper to boot. Lady Mashuri, I believe you are mistaking him for the other prince, Prince Stern. Oh, now I remember. Twin princes, as similar as a Mughal and a Marlboro. I see that now. Well then, Crown Prince, give us a show. More reinforcements. It looks like they won't rest until they've taken my life. I've never been pursued so passionately before. Pursued, you say? King Elda, at this rate... Our enemy does not falter. Prepare to respond in kind. You speak of the ring, correct? Ring? Where the devil did they all come from? Leonis, a small nation surrounded by major powers. This ring is how you've maintained your independence. Very perceptive, as expected of Lady Mashuri. That ring, I suppose it is an ancient relic. Indeed, and something that I would show only to you, Lady Mashuri. Let this be proof of the trust we have for one another. Yes. Proof of our trust. Lady Mashuri! It's nothing. I'm fine. Does something trouble you? Not in the least.
Father, the enemy has further reinforcements. Unlearning savages. Let us retreat for now and strike back at our own advantage. Not but ruins. All wiped out by monsters? Nay. The villagers were moved elsewhere before they met a grim fate. A true king of the people you are. It was all at Mont's urgency. He insisted upon it. That's quite a surprise. A surprise? What do you mean? I'd taken you for little more than your father's pup. <sighs> no need to be upset. If anything, my impression of you has improved. Just a tad. Here they come! There's just no quit in them. I bear new tidings, Your Majesty. Out of it. It appears the bandits are gathering in the forest just ahead. We estimate they have thrice our numbers. These are no common cutthroats. Their forces are too great. Then whose orders are they acting on? Would Lady Mashari not hold the answers we seek? There's little doubt who is their prey. Unfortunately, my enemies are too many. Time has come for you to share your knowledge. What do you want to know? Why did you trespass into the land of Leonis in lieu of sending me word of your travels? I did trespass in your kingdom. I suppose an explanation is in order. My carriage was en route to Fennis. To Fennis? But you must know that they are an enemy of Leonis. For what purpose? To wed Moraga. What? You're to wed King Moraga of Fennis? Dejection doesn't suit you. Dejection? Very well. It seems our suspicions weren't unfounded after all. Yet you knew nothing of this marriage, King Elda. Is that not true? Wait a minute. Though you'd have to traverse the mountains, you would be able to enter Fennis without stepping foot in Leonis. Precisely. However, our coachman chose this route so as to avoid monsters. In doing so, we entered your territory. And that's exactly when the bandits decided to strike? Isn't that convenient? No word of this is a lie. Uh, more of them are coming. Father, we should retreat before our allies suffer any further losses. I can't abide that. What are you? I've not the slightest interest in weak men. Weak men? What? It would seem Lady Mashari has taken a liking to you. L Lady Mashari. Show me strength that can move even the most hardened of hearts. Wonderful. We're surrounded. If we had retreated, we could be eating by now. These fools from Horn have entangled us in a right old mess. Don't speak around your complaints. Spit them out. 
enough. This is my fault. If only I were stronger, this wouldn't have happened. Your strength has not to do with this, Lord Mont. It's just bad luck. This necklace, it's... Use it. Is that another ancient relic? Very perceptive. Father bequeathed it to me as my dowry. An ancient relic for use as a dowry? What's the matter, Mont? Use it quickly. for your first time. I never thought you would be able to wield it so well. Maintain your focus, Lord Mont. Here they come! Strike them down with all your might, Mont. What? If my eyes don't deceive me, you could become even stronger. What is it? So my eyes are mistaken, I take it? No, I... I believe you! There's no end to them. Hmm. Are you going to suggest retreating again? We have no choice. Your life is of the utmost importance. Don't make me laugh. You think me intimidated by these whelps. <laughs> How brave, princess. Allow me to show our gracious king and his son how a lady conducts herself on the battlefield. Schutzelt, to arms! Yes, my lady. You mean to fight? You can't be serious. You've certainly gotten better. As have you. Solidus could make fine use of someone with your talents, Lady Mashiri. Oh, Schutzelt. You've been working on your flattery as well, I see. Those two are... incredible. Her talent is on par with the first sword of Solidus. It would seem she is not simply some insufferable princess. Something you'd like to say, King Elda? Please speak freely. <laughs> You've made this warrior's blood run warm for the first time in an age. Then we shall fight together. Look. Their leader shows his face. The one orchestrating this attack. You'd best be on your guard, Lord Mont. Lilith. Their leader, no doubt, will be more skilled than the rest. Right. Mort, to battle. The time has come for the Elder Prince of Leonis to demonstrate his worth. Yes, Father. Well, well, well. It looks like you're really going to protect me from this rabble. What is it? Has the cat got your tongue? I'll protect you. I swear it. Do you... desire me? That's... Or maybe... you simply want to keep the ancient relic of mine currently in your possession. I've no interest in your ancient relic. And I've no interest in weak men. If you want me, then prove your worth before I forget about you completely. Uh. Have we failed? Even with our numbers? They're not human! After them! 
I've grown tired of this. Huh? What are you saying? This is our best opportunity to rid ourselves of the bandits. Did I not make myself clear? I'm telling you that I'm tired. This freezing cold rain has soaked me to the bone, and this needlessly long fight has left my legs stiff as planks. Are you certain? If we let them off so easily... That's no concern of mine. I'm a princess of Horn. Is this the hospitality Leonis has to offer? <laughs> then let us withdraw to a warm hearth. Enjoy this victory while it lasts. For it is not over yet. On the contrary, it has only just begun. The territory of Finnis lies due north of here. So the hospitality of Leonis was for naught. King Elder. You have our deepest gratitude. Alas. Enough. There's no need for that. The relationship between Fennis and my beloved Leonis remains at odds. If Lady Machery were to wed into Fennis, it would doom us to a relationship of hostility as well. <laughs> In that case... Stop this madness at once and put your swords away. Lady Mashiri, the day must wear on you. What are you insinuating? To be blindsided by these... Monsters! Huh? King Elda. Can we truly trust you? Should sound. Is this how you thank the king that saved your life? My duty is to escort Lady Mashiri to Fennis without fail. I will gladly suffer your accusations of insolence to keep my lady safe. Enough, Shitzelt. I've no intention of setting foot in Fennis. But Lady Mashiri. What of your engagement to King Moraga? Surely you've noticed something amiss. These raids of late are... suspicious. Yes, my lady. King Elda, I'd like to see Leona's castle. Would I be welcome? Very well. Pray, come and feast your eyes on our most celebrated den, the Castle of Lions. The alliance between Horn and Fennis will be tested if Mashari refuses to wed. Not will come of it. The alliance is not so fragile. How can you be so sure? Not a fortnight has passed since the daughter of King Moraga of Fennis. Unbelievable. You mean to say this daughter has wed Prince Dario? Yes, Your Grace. Unsettling words. Mention of a daughter had not even crossed into my kingdom. Truly? Curiouser and curiouser. Lady Mashiri, your purity misleads you. You give them too much faith. We speak not but the truth. Perhaps. But in Horn, Lady Venera has already... That Kerr Moraga. What in the world is he planning? What's the matter, Shitzelt? It'd be rude to keep King Elda waiting any longer. Suspicion haunts my thoughts, my lady. Suspicions about the daughter of Moraga? I see no reason why King Moraga would deceive us. Deception leads to betrayal. Maybe Horn will not find a true ally in Moraga. You speak of treachery. 
Horn would bow to them if they took me hostage. Hmm. Are you still not convinced? Then tell me, whose hand directed those bandits, scum? King Elda insists that King Moraga is lining their purses. Yet, if he truly intended to take my lady hostage, or worse yet, end your life, then there are much easier methods. You're right. And yet, I've no desire to return to Horn for the time being. I'm not certain of King Elda, but his son Mont doesn't strike me as villainous. Hmm. Understood, Lady Masheri. If you truly believe so... Apologies for all of this, Shitzelt. You are too kind, my lady. Promise me that no matter what happens, you will return home safely. Your wedding day draws near, does it not? In three days. I wish both you and Naya all the happiness in the world. We have all we could wish for. In that case, I wish for more happiness than you could ever wish for. We humbly accept it. Well then, let's be off. We'll win no favors keeping them waiting. Once we get through this forest, we should be able to see Leona's castle. I'd heard tales of it being a remote castle. Alas, I never expected it to be quite so... wonderful. You are as adept with flattery as you are with a sword. I only speak the truth. You must forget me. I have some business to attend to. Venice. Moraga's lackwits. It appears that we've become Lady Mashiri's abductors. <laughs> Mont, ready yourself. We shall meet the Fennis army in battle. But father... Have you some objection? Fennis is our enemy. I have no qualms about doing what needs to be done. But can we not resolve this with diplomacy, rather than needlessly risk the lives of our soldiers and people? So you believe this fight to serve no purpose? No, that's not what I... Then allow me, father. Give me the order. So this is the second-born prince, Stern. Correct, my lady. His skills with the sword are said to surpass even the king's. For reasons unbeknownst to me, Seems he has never deployed in wars with foreign powers. Is that so? Father! You shall keep watch at the castle. Kitone, keep a close eye on him. As you wish. Why? Why do you hold me back? My answer remains unchanged. The Leonis line must live on. Even should we fall afoul of gods to defend it. That is all. We march to war! Let Venice hear our roar! Father, this war will take all the power we can muster. I can feel it. Do you believe Stern should shed his blood alongside us? Spit it out. I do, father. You fear routing Fennis without your brother's strength? <laughs> if Fennis marches their main force, you shouldn't take them lightly. What are you doing here? Beware the Legion Ruina. A direct blow by that force means certain defeat. Father, what is Mashari doing here? Lady Mashari is accompanying us into battle of her own volition. Your fears are unfounded. I can take care of myself. 
Maybe I should protect you, too. Make haste before it's too late. Return to the castle at once. It was more comfortable than I'd expected. I'll give you that. But I'm not one for staying put. We beg your pardon, Lord Mont. Besides, isn't it better for me to accompany you? What do you mean? I am worried about the Alliance Fennis has struck a horn. As a result, we will surely have to battle against Horn as well. I see. Was your intention to lock me up inside Leona's castle as your prisoner, then? Of course not. It wouldn't be a bad move. Father, tell her that we would never. Of all the cowardly tactics. Mont, don't be such a whelp. Shitzelt, do the honors for me. We are the pieces that will greatly influence this war. The only choice other than winning is death. Understand now? There are no cowardly tactics. Nothing is forbidden. If you do wish to take me hostage, then we must flee back to the castle before meeting Fennis' army. Do you... have no fear of death? You shouldn't be afraid to die. You should fear others dying for you. Your Majesty, the Venice Army readies for battle ahead! So they have come. Unleash the proud lions of war! Fight to the last! How fares the battle? Though their numbers are small, the soldiers of Leonis take to war like those born for it. They have the advantage of the land. You could see the accomplishments of commanding with precision. If Prince Mont were to continue growing in this way... Yes, he could definitely become a threat. Just give the order, and I'll gladly wander into the fray and unhead his body. Do no such thing. Lady Mashri, you cannot mean... That... that shall not do. Why? Because he's an enemy? Answer me this. Do you think that we really have an alliance with Venice? Well, yes, of course. I believe it to be true. The daughter of King Moraga has wed to Horn, and soon you shall wed to Fennis. King Elda's words play on my mind. He claims that King Moraga has no daughter, yet he must be mistaken. My lady watches Lord Mont, does she not? Like a hawk, I have a keen eye for people. Father would have benefited from that skill himself. But alas... You have my sympathies, my lady. If it were not for the threat to the West... The sun has set. We know the lay of this land better than any other. Press our advantage! But it's no use, Lord Mont! Enemies! Mont, use the necklace! Right! <laughs> it seems like we got here just in time. I take back what I said. It appears as though my eye for people is a little misty. I must take after my father. You are too harsh on yourself. Do my ears deceive me? Or are you vouching for Mont? Well, at a glance he seemed to be just another frail prince raised in luxury. 
However, with the courage he has shown since, my stance has changed. I find that purity of heart to be truly radiant. Radiant, you say? That light. It could summon forth the dawn of a new day. Or be lost to the all-consuming darkness of war. I hope I get to see it. To see what fate holds for the man named Mont. That was it. Right there. There is no mistaking it. Yes. That Esper came out of nowhere and obliterated the 1st Battalion. No one in Leonis should be in possession of a relic that summons forth an Esper. Meaning that Mashari is somewhere on this battlefield. I shall locate her immediately. Stand down. I'll take care of this myself. But King Moraga... War is for fighting. There is no place for gawkers. The true pleasure of battle lies in death throes and bloodbaths. Leonis has my pity, your fierceness. They'll not need it for long. Sir! You're King Moraga of Fennis! Now's our chance! Bite off the head of Moraga! Even a demon could not stand a chance against our numbers! Ready yourselves! Silence, you slugs! I want to hear not, but the wrenching of screams! Hear me, Elder. I'll take my pound of flesh for your crime of taking Marshery. Hold on, my sweet Marshery. Are you all right? Hold firm. Forgive me, my lord. This wound is deep. No ordinary swordsman wielded the blade that cut this. It couldn't be. It was... Moraga, my lord. He's... here. Lord Mont, take this soldier and leave now. You're telling me to retreat? Moraga is no ordinary foe. But I have you, Lilith. I am but one person. Victory is far from certain. Do you find me of no use to you at all? I'm afraid so, my lord. Apologies, of course. Moraga is bloodying his blade to take back Moshari. <sighs> That's why I can give him no quarter. I've told you already, Lord Mont. This fight will cost you your life. The Leonis line shall live on, even should we fall afoul of gods to defend it. King Elda's words. I'll defeat him. So just lend me your strength. Is that an order? And if it was... Then I would obey, gladly. 
After all, I swore to be Lord Mont's blade till I draw my last breath. <sighs> I sure am hungry. You would speak about your stomach at a time like this? So scared you just want to turn tail and scamper back to the castle, huh? Well, yes. I'd like to return. No enemies at the castle and food aplenty. Don't you want to go back too, Layart? Don't group me together with you. I'd like to get a reward for proving myself in battle. Reward? Didn't you say you only wanted honor? Did I? Also, remember saying you wanted to be led by Stern and Fordham rather than being in Kalem? Uh, hold your tongue. Someone might hear you. True, though, isn't it? You'd get a closer view of Stern after all. Uh, I want nothing of the sort. I think I finally realized. Oh. Is Lord Mont the new object of your affection instead of Lord Stern? You flat mouthed fool. You are truly dense. Hmm? You intend to serve your whole life? You saying the life of a soldier isn't for you? Well, I could save up enough money to buy myself a peaceful place somewhere and just retire. Oh. I never thought of that. What about you? You don't have any concerns about the future? Hmm. Whatever will be, will be, I say. <sighs> How could I fall for this big oaf of all people? Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing at all! On your feet! The enemy approaches! So, this is where we lay our ambush. Seems a good plan to me. We have thorough knowledge of this land. We must use that to our advantage. This is true, and yet... There are so many stars out tonight. Each one tells of danger. Shadows lurk in the darkness. What do you mean? Allow me to show you. What the? Don't move. <clears throat> A shinobi from Horn? That necklace you hold. I believe that belongs to Lady Masharu. What has become of her? Do your eyes fail you, shinobi? Can you not see who stands right there? Lady Masheri, she's not alone. Shitzelt is by her side, too. Does it look as though they are our prisoners? I see. Then I shall spare your lives. However, next time you will not be so lucky. She vanished. Apologies, Lord Mont. This is inexcusable. I hope that Shinobi gets a proper explanation. Explanation? If Mashari explains that we helped her after her carriage was set upon by those bandits. Maybe this fight would be over, but... When next we fight Fennis, will not Horn aid them in battle? Should that come to pass, we would stand little chance of victory. That's right. So long as we're at war with Fennis, Horn will also be our enemy. As would Lady Ma Cherie. Then what should we do? The only way for us to survive is to defeat Moraga before Horn's reinforcements arrive. And it must be done by whatever means necessary. Lynx? You are unharmed, my lady. 
I see that my ever-worried father has sent you. It was my decision to come, my lady. <sighs> what is it? I have a message for Shitzelt. Ikuri, is it about Maya? <sighs> what is it? What happened? Out with it. Naya is no longer with us. What? What are you saying? That's impossible! There was talk of you being a Leonis spy, conspiring with bandits and taking Our Lady Masheri hostage. Who would breathe such foul lies into existence? One of King Moraga's shinobi claims to have seen the whole affair take place. <sighs> Gather yourself, Shitzelt. Lynx, I need to hear it. Who murdered my beloved Naya? Sharing that information won't be necessary, Lynx. <sighs> Loosen your tongue, or else... I'll strike you down here and now. Lady Mushery. Lord Mont, they're heading straight for us. His Majesty King Rob still has faith in Shitzelt. However, King Moraga flew into a rage when he defended Shitzelt. He spoke of treachery, a secret alliance with Leonis in an attempt to destroy Fennis. Ridiculous. He took it as a great offense after having married his dearest daughter to the House of Horn. King Rob could not utter a word in kind. And so he offered Naya as proof of his loyalty? No. Without so much as a word to King Rob, King Moraga gave the command to a shinobi in his charge. There can be no mercy. Perhaps this very upheaval is what Fennis was hoping for. Shitzelt, you are turning your blade against Fennis. That was precisely Moraga's goal. Do you not understand? <sighs> Father will not be able to oppose Moraga. And to add insult to injury, now Moraga plans to get rid of me as well. His last breath will be drawn before my blade, I swear it. Even if by doing so, you destroy our homeland? <sighs> Forgive me for speaking so plainly. There is no fault in speaking of what has already passed. But alas... We will not raise our swords against Leonis. Leonis is the enemy, my lady. Should you disobey me, you will die. Understood? You have my loyalty, my lady. <sighs> that mangy Moraga. I'd heard tell of his savagery, but never his wits. We must prepare ourselves for the worst. Mont. Wow, someone is looking for a fight. Shitzelt. Are you not Lady Ma Sherry's escort? Just where do you think you're going? To slay Moraga. Moraga is our enemy as well. We should stand together and... No, he is mine and mine alone. Out of my way. The stars are unusually boisterous this night. Should I go after him? Hmm. The answer to your question is not an easy one to give. <sighs> Should one choose to live on, even though one suffers in despair? Or should one seek death to 
to afford one's soul its respite. You aren't truly suggesting that it's better to let someone die, are you? Who is to say? Fickle is the wind that fills the sails of a ship. <sighs> I can't leave that fool to go off on his own like that. Then what do you plan on doing? I request your permission to go after him. I'll bring him back here, or I'll fight at his side. No telling which it will be. But we mustn't leave him to his own devices. Very well. Thank you, Lord Mont. I'll be back before you know it. Lilith sees her former self reflected in Lord Schutzelt. Here, Lady Mosherie. Whatever has become of your knightly guardian? She's gone off somewhere in search of Shitzelt. I see. Has something happened? The truth of it is. Most terrible. But why would that knight go to such lengths to help Schitzelt? Lilith lost someone precious to her in the war with Fenis too. A lover? No, a brother. That makes sense. I suppose it is pain that bonds them. Then there is not else we can do. Just a moment. What are you planning? With one knight gone, you'll need another to fill her place. I'll be your bodyguard. Just be grateful. <sighs> what, not happy about it? No, it's great. I mean, it's fine. Then let's be off. Follow my lead. You've proven yourself to be more capable than I thought. Hmm. What troubles you, Mont? <sighs> you will gain nothing by getting lost in your thoughts. A apologies, I'm just... worried. About Lilith and Schitzelt? No, about... you. Worried about me? Perhaps you finally become a man. You mock me. <sighs> Moraga will catch wind of us soon enough, should we continue fighting like this. Are you concerned about the Alliance with Fennis breaking apart? The Alliance isn't my concern, but rather what the future holds for you. I fear it is dark. Uh, you are not long for this world, Mont. Huh? Battlefield is no place for a kindness such as yours. It doesn't matter. I've no desire to be a hero. Then what do you want to be? Nothing in particular. I am who I am. I don't want to slay a thousand enemies. I want to keep one person safe. That is why I fight. Keep one person safe? Are you talking about me? Yes. I'll protect you, no matter what. You have my word. I shall hold you to that, Mont. I heard what happened. And so you abandoned the prince to hound me out of pity? Pity? Perhaps. What would you know of what I'm dealing with? What would I know of it? More than you realize. 
I lost somebody to Fennis too. My brother, slain in battle. Your brother? Desperate to take Moraga's head, I left Leonis. I couldn't rest until he lay dead. Alas, I never did get my revenge. Your warning falls on deaf ears. I know he is to be feared, but there are some fights from which a man can never back down. And there are fights from which a woman can never back down. Maybe I can put to rest one of my oldest desires, if we work together. <sighs> Do as you please. There he is. A cur. Moraga! Oh. Well, if it isn't the backstabbing knight who betrayed Venice. Wave your forked tongue elsewhere. We see through your lies. Brought another brave knight with you too, huh? Come to unhead me before Horn's troops arrive, have you? Lilith, was it? I remember you. And there's something you should remember. You don't have the metal to beat me. I've changed. And this time, I'm not alone. What's changed? Nothing. One slug, two slugs. You cannot lay a finger on me. Enough of the boasts. Ready your blade. <laughs> the first sword of the Solidus Royal Guard. Been a while since I had a bit of fun. Is that... Even together, the two of them did not stand a chance. There you are, my sweet. Start begging for your life. Tell me you can't wait to bear me a son. Do it, and you might save your own skin. Revolting. You make me sick. Revolting? Me? Then you can die with the rest of them! Lynx! What the? Damn it! A smoke bomb! You slugs! Thought I'd come unprepared! This is our second dance! Craven slugs! This isn't the last of me! I'll pay you back in blood for this! Damn it! Great timing! There you are. That voice! King Elda. The king? You've crossed blades with Moraga. You certainly mucked things up. Then there is not for it. I must go. No, King Elda. We must retreat for now. Oh. The brave princess deigns to retreat. But alas, first we must dispose of this filth. Shitzelt, how are your wounds? Forgive me, Lady Mashari. It's okay. Don't apologize. Hooray! Reinforcements! 
Reinforcements! It couldn't be. Horn! The reinforcements hail from Horn! Then it is too late. Daybreak. What are you dithering about for? We need to get out of here now, else they will catch us. Mushery, could you not return to Horn alone? If the situation were explained to your father, surely we could come to an understanding. So much for your royal education. Pardon me? Do you not comprehend, Mont? The only one spared in such a plan would be Lady Mashri herself. Precisely. Taking me as your hostage will allow you to negotiate with Father. As our hostage? But that would... Did the words not fall out of your own mouth? I thought you swore to protect me. Well? I swore it then, and I'll swear it again now. I will protect you. As you should. Then let us retreat. Leona's castle awaits my return. <laughs>